What's up, everybody? This is Adrian, the web scraping guy. If you need anything web scraped, email me, adrian at thewebscrapingguy.com. And today we are going to be talking about how to get cookies from either a request or a response. Now, why you would want to do this is to make API calls. So if, if, if there's information in that cookie that you need to make an API uh, request, then yeah, this is why you would need it. Sometimes the information in your cookies will um, expire, go stale. So you need to get a new cookie in order to make that API request. So yeah, I will give you a little bit of an example uh, here. So for TikTok, now I'll just show you um, the code that I have for that TikTok.js. So we have these API requests that we're making. And so to avoid using like Puppeteer or Selenium, we actually are, we, ha we have to use Puppeteer to intercept cookies uh, and headers from requests. But with responses, we can just use like Fetch or Axios or whatever. So for TikTok, what happens, and this is just for like the ads creative center. So this is the, um, this web ID and timestamp and user sign expire after a while. And so we need to fresh new ones. And then as well for this website called PropWire, then your cookie is eventually going to go stale. This X uh, surf token and the session are going to expire. So you need new ones. So how we do it, let's talk about getting cookies from requests. So in the case for TikTok, normally, so they are going to, if we do fetch, so here's where they return the ads and where they have these um, CSERF token, web ID, and user sign. Now, normally like they, these have to be returned from somewhere or these have to come from somewhere like on the site. They normally like don't just, come out of nowhere. So you usually can like search for them and then find something. These are request headers on all of them. So if we go here, then that doesn't really help us out too much um, because we want to avoid using using um, Puppeteer. Yeah, so it, if we want to avoid using Puppeteer, then we need something on the response. But I can't find anything that's on the response. And yeah, we're looking for just kind of a quick, easy win here. So we're, we are going to just get them off of one of the requests. So how you intercept uh, request headers from uh, from Puppeteer is you are going to use this await page, await page set request interception true. And then page on request takes a callback. And then this is important, the request.continue because if, well, let's just check it out. Um, let's run this here. Get cookies from request. And that's all going to work hunky dory. It takes a long time to load though. And I don't have those logs, so let's log. So what happens if we don't have request.continue is nothing is gonna happen. This page is just going to uh, freeze like this. So you're gonna think there's something wrong and all you have to do is just request.continue and then you'll see it continues. Boom, like that. And let's wait for it to end so that we get the stuff. Boom, and you can see right there. So yeah, all we're going to do is we want to get this request right here for access token, which uh, we're not getting the access token here. This is just one of the things that we're going to, uh, one of the requests we're going to intercept and get the user agent, user sign, and web ID. So we want to get this information here. And so to do that, you're going to get the URL with request.url, and if the URL includes access token, then get the headers. So these are all headers right here. Boom. 
and then just assign them to these variables outside of the callback. Web ID equals headers, web ID, et cetera, et cetera. And then, yeah, we just go to the page and then that's it. And yeah, I just showed you a working example. And then, yeah, if we wanted headless new, so we didn't pop up a uh, page, then we're going to do that. Boom. Okay. So that's how you get cookies f from request header or from a request. Cookies or headers, whatever. I mean, the cookie is in the header, right? So whatever. And then for this one, we're going to do for prop wire. Now, if you notice, so we're going to like, let's check out this request here. So let's do, yeah, um, Austin, Texas. So this is autocomplete here and we can copy this and use it. But you'll notice, I think somewhere, right. So the set cookie here, this is in the response. So it has these uh, cookies and I believe, yeah, even here in the request, it has uh, this, these tokens here that will eventually expire. So what we wanna do is get those. And the beautiful thing with this and with most websites, I feel like, um, I only have to use that puppeteer trick every once in a while, but normally, so that's gonna come from somewhere, right? So if we, we need like this token or this uh, session right here. So now if we go all, okay, that is all? No, that's not all. Okay, let's try this again. So we're here and we want like Austin, Texas and yeah, proxy down. Yeah, they have that. I'm not sure what proxy town is, but that sounds fun. Um, hmm. Oh, complete right there. So if we search for this here, then that's the only place we're going to find it. That's not great. Uh, okay, let's try this part of this token here. That's the only place that I have it. Was it? Okay, I'm not sure how I found this, but um, usually what I will do. So this has to come from somewhere. So usually what you do is you just look at the initial page that was fetched. So this is the actual like HTML page that is requested. And this is the response headers. And usually there's a lot of information in the response headers. And, and voila, it is right here. So this is the CSERF token. And the session is, yeah, right here. So what we can do is if we go copy this and then fetch, then we're getting cookies from response. So then we just make the request. Oh, look at that. Yeah, and so it already has the cookies. So if we just log the cookies. So this is Copilot, so thanks Copilot. So all you have to do with uh, fetch, and you can do this with any like request library, like Axios, or you know if you're using Python, whatever. Then yeah, res headers are raw, and then set cookies. So we are gonna get those. And so here you notice that if, so when you fetch the actual page, the HTML, like you don't have to include those um, those variables, those cookies, those tokens or anything, because it's just like, uh, that's just the page. Like you're, you don't need, yeah, that information. So then if we go here, call that, let's see what happens. Boom, that's it right there. And then you just take off the information that you need. So I wonder if Copilot will just do this for me. Yeah, right here. Uh, yeah, you can even make these like uh, like cookie object or something. And then Copilot, yeah, we'll do all this for me. So then if we like log cookie object. Yeah, and then it has, yep, exactly what we need. The, the 
Sea Surf token or the exit, whatever. I don't know what that token is. And uh, prop wire session, boom, has both the things that we need. So then store those as, as a variable and then send those up, yeah, cookie and whatever into your requests. And uh, yeah, then you can make API requests uh, with abandon and scrape with abandon. So that's it. So those are, yeah, some tricks to get cookies from requests and responses to then use in your API requests. So then you can, yeah, just use API requests to scrape instead of um, browser automation like Puppeteer and Selenium. So that's it. So please subscribe. Um, in the comments, if you want to see anything else scraped or talked about for like web scraping, then let me know. Thanks.